Hello all. So today I'm talking about shipping crews that may be having thermostat problems, what are some symptoms, and how you can tell if the thermostat is bad or not, and how you can go about replacing it if it is. So what are some symptoms of the shipping crews with a bad thermostat? Well, it be overheating, or there could be no heat, but uh, overheating is the most common cause. And if it's really super cold out, often a thermostat is stuck open, then it won't it won't close and cause the car to heat up so no heat will come out which is a common thing but only in very cold weather so by far the most common thing would be overheating i'm going to put links down below for everything i'm reading here how does this thermostat work well well basically they're just thermostats are just small mechanical devices they've been used for many years so as the coolant begins to heat up it'll slowly open it and it'll regulate the temperature because the coolant flowing by it will start to pour into the radiator, which will cool the coolant, and then it'll start cycling around the engine. If it's stuck closed, then it can't cycle, and this will cause the engine to overheat. If, uh, if it's stuck open, then it won't close, and this, inside of very cold weather, it'll cause it, the engine not to get very hot. So that's the basic of how it works. It's a pretty simple little device. So how can you go about diagnosing a Chevy Cruze with a bad thermostat? Well, first of all, look around the housing of the thermostat. It, it'll be, it likely will be leaking if it's bad. You know, not all the time, but a lot of times it does. And another way you could test for it is, is when it's overheating, there's no coolant going past it. So the temperature will be different before and after the thermostat since it's not letting no coolant flow past it. And so often a thermometer can be used to test it before and after. Some people even come up and squeeze the hose right there to see if any, any fluid is flowing past it, which you got to be careful because it might be getting hot. So I wouldn't suggest that, but some people do that. They just come up, they squeeze that hose and see if any, uh, they can feel any coolant flowing through there. Because if there's no coolant flowing and the engine's warm, then you know that thermostat is stuck closed. And so where's the location of the thermostat on the cruise? Well, it's right on the top of the engine. It'll be right to the left. Uh, right, just right directly behind the, the radiator, as you can see in this image. And they're fairly low cost items. If you ever need to swap one out, they're around 20 bucks. So a lot of people just swap them out if they think that it's bad. They're, they're not too difficult to swap out. So how can you go about replacing it? Well, there's a drain plug down the bottom to drain it. You have to get a, a pan to drain out the coolant. I'll put links down below for everything I'm looking at here. But then you need a seven millimeter socket. You, you gotta remove the air intake hose because it's in the way. You, you use a small screwdriver and you take out the electrical wiring and then you use a screwdriver to pull off the clip for that's holding the hose on. You'll have some bolts, three bolts. You got to remove those and then it'll come right out. Then you make sure you clean it up the surface real good before you install the new one. Then you put on a gasket and then you reinsert it, basically going the reverse of how you took it apart, add the coolant back in, and you should be ready to go. So it's pretty simple. There's many do-it-yourself mechanics can change out a thermostat. Of course, if in doubt, take it to a professional. But that's basically it. I, I just wanted to give a basic overview of what you can do if you have a Chevy Cruze and you think you have a bad thermostat. So if you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.